Huge shakedown happening in White House right now, look who Trump just kicked to the curb after seeing what they did, James K. Polk once said, no president who performs his duties faithfully and conscientiously can have any leisure. It looks like the left is going to make completely sure that that is the case with President Trump. Not only does he have the job of running the free world on his shoulders, he's got to deal with rabid liberals trying to rip up his country and his administration from the inside out. Apparently, they're not going to take his election sitting down, despite it being what the nation wanted. They've done their best to ruin his reputation, even if it means that they might ruin our government and our worldwide reputation in the process. The most obviously Hail Mary attempt at throwing shade at the president is the ever-persistent Russia rumors surrounding his campaign. I think we could all agree that if these accusations are true, they would be a serious offense indeed, there's just no proof thus far that they are. There is a lot of proof that the entire thing could be one massive attempt to discredit the president and his policies. Because of all this, the president has decided to take the bull by the horns and deal with it head on. His plan to address the special investigations and general media rumor mill is a classic move for this president and former political outsider, physically and ideologically separate yourself from those things that you don't think should be an issue. Via Conservative Tribune, according to a report in the Wall Street Journal, the president has been looking at restructuring options to better respond to a special counsel investigating his campaign's ties to Russia. Strategizing for the potential reshuffle took up most of his free time while he was overseas in the Middle East and Europe, and one Trump advisor says that everything is in play. One of the first major proposals from administration officials, according to CBS News, is the establishment of rapid response messaging teams specifically to respond to the media narrative on the Russia investigation. One idea under consideration, according to a GOP source close to the White House, is the formation of an outside group to handle all Russia-related inquiries, freeing up the existing communications team inside the White House to focus on moving Mr. Trump's governing agenda forward, CBS reported. Another part of the shakeup involves firing White House leakers, who sources say have been identified and are about to be dismissed. You have no idea how paranoid it makes people, a White House official, speaking, with no small degree of irony, anonymously, told CBS. And, as for who might be on the outs, there's one name that always pops up in these stories press secretary Sean Spicer. While Spicer has high ratings, it's difficult to get the message out to the clutter and it's serving as a device to beat him up, one White House source said. One possibility is that Spicer could be replaced by Deputy Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Another possibility not mutually exclusive, mind you is that press briefings could be cut down dramatically or eliminated entirely. Trump does not find value in them anymore, the source added. Instead of press briefings, one messaging proposal has the president ramping up campaign-style rallies throughout the summer. Whether or not any of this comes to pass is debatable. We've heard the shake-up rumors from the media over and over again over the past few months, Spicer is almost invariably mentioned, but the amateur Trumpologists in the mainstream media have also written off Steve Bannon, Kellyanne Conway, and others. The Wall Street Journal's report sounds a bit more credible than the rest, but Trump administration shake UPS are a bit like rumors of a Smith's reunion, let me know when it actually happens. At this point, the president is spending his valuable time dealing with special investigations and damage control and rooting out leaks when he should be focusing on the big issues that we face. This rapid-fire response is a defense mechanism against the viral nature of the lies that the media and the left like to spread about him. Why do you think that they're so against him using Twitter? It's an instantaneous way for him to set the record straight and get ahead of the liberal narrative. This Russia scandal has the potential to swallow the president whole and take with it all the good that he has done and plans to do with his administration. That's not to say that there's truth to it, but as Hitler would say make the lie big, make it simple, keep saying it, and eventually, they will believe it. Sound familiar? The liberals with the mainstream media at their back are beating the same dead horse over and over again, hoping that the sheer volume of their outcry will make them sound credible. But heaven help them when he figures out how to prove their slander is the political assignation attempt that it is. All the safe spaces in the world won't save them then. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.